Welcome to Adobe Muse. Muse is a code-free website creation tool that allows designers to build sites visually without writing any code. But that doesn't mean it's just for non-coders. Many of our members have a great knowledge of code but still use Muse for its speed and fantastic design flexibility. This series is designed to cover only the most essential elements of Muse. We won't talk about everything. Once you learn the basics, you can easily supplement your Muse education with other videos from our site or blog posts. Let's get started. Here's a quick overview of how Adobe Muse works. I have a template open from our website. It's called Build, and it's for a construction company. The way Muse works is similar to most Adobe apps. You simply click and drag elements around the canvas, or you can drag and drop elements from folders such as images or icons. Muse feels really familiar to Adobe InDesign in the way that it works with frames. As you can see here, I have a rectangle, and if I just shrink the image, the frame actually cuts off the outside of the image. Very, very similar to Adobe InDesign. In fact, the team at Adobe that built Muse was the team behind InDesign. So if you're coming from a print background, this application is really comfortable for you. Once you're done creating your design, what you'll do then is publish up your website directly from Muse or export it by clicking File and Export as HTML, which will output all of the files for your site, similar to exporting a PDF from Adobe InDesign. Muse comes built in with a widget library, and the widget library contains things like buttons and sliders that simplify the design process. It also allows third-party developers like us at Muse Themes to create unique widgets that further extend the functionality of Muse. Muse sites use assets linked to items on your computer. So as you can see here in the Assets panel, we have links to images that are stored in a folder on the computer. If you simply update an image in the folder, it's going to update in Muse as well. It's important to note that a Muse website is contained within a file, a .muse file. You cannot import an existing non-Muse website into Muse. It just doesn't work like that. If you want to take a website that's been already built, perhaps by hand or in a different platform, and use it in Muse, you would need to rebuild that file directly in Muse. The working file for your Muse site is contained here. It says buildtheme.muse. And then we have a couple of folders that we've set up for our external assets and images. If you export your Muse file as HTML, like I've done here, let me open up one of these HTML files in a code editor. I'll open this with Sublime Text. So here's the exported code opened up in a text editor, similar to Notepad. If I scroll through this code and look at it, you'll see that it's not very friendly looking. The code exported from a Muse site is automatically generated from the application. That doesn't necessarily mean it's bad, but it's not as easy to decipher as handwritten code. For this reason, we don't recommend you ever modify the site's code once you've exported it from Muse. There's no way to get those changes back into Muse. Muse designers need to stay fully within the application and you'll never need to do any sort of coding to build a website in Muse. Adobe software can be intimidating at first, but I have often found that only 20% of the features in the app can achieve 80% or more of the required functionality. In this series, we'll run through only the essential features to get you working with sites and widgets in the fastest way possible.